But one thing is, my dear brothers, is that yes, undoubtedly, these are very, very painful things for us as the Ummah. If your heart is not moved, then wallah, you have to question, I have to question, we have to question, is that is it a heart inside our heart or is it a piece of stone? However, we own the only solace and comfort and peace that we can take. Not that we are looking for halat to come across this ummah. We feel sad. But one thing that will give us a sense of comfort, something at the back of our minds that will let off a spark to say there is still light at the end of the tunnel. There is still hope is when we flick through the glorious pages of the Sunnah, when we pick up the books of history, when we pick up the stories of Sahaba and see their sacrifice, we also see they were those individuals that also had to sacrifice for this deen as well. Now there are countless examples, countless stories, countless incidents that you and I can read for us to take some solace and comfort. But a very particular one which stands out in my mind because of how difficult it was for the Prophet ﷺ. Two in particular. One was when he went to the leaders of Ta'if and the second one was when he, the Muslims were faced with the battle of Uhud. Generally as Muslims we know these stories. We hear about these stories, we read about these stories and we're moved with emotion because the greatest person ever to put his feet on, the earth, on, on this earth, he was the one that had to be afflicted with such big trials. What did it mention about him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Shujja fi jabhatihi wa tasilu dima ala wajhihi kusirat rubaiyatuhu and all these things in the hadith are mentioned that his tooth broke, his head was cut, blood was profusely flowing onto the face of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But yet even he had to go through that taqlif, even he had to go through difficulties when it came in, t in regards of the deen. The incident of Taif again was no less where he was pelted so badly, ulama mentioned that the, it covered kilometers and kilometers of distance where the enemy of that time were mercilessly pelting him head to toe with stones and his Mubarak body was ruptured and blood was coming out but yet he did not slacken in calling people unto Allah he did not lose hope he was moved with emotion and he prayed such a dua he made such a supplication and he said, oh Allah Allahumma inni ashku ilayka dhu'fa quwwati Oh Allah, if there's anything I complain, I complain of my own feebleness and my own weakness. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was sitting, subhanallah, even the enemies when they saw him, they were the, even when they saw his pitiable state, they were even moved with emotion as well. Okay, look what the people of Taif have even done to the likes of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in particular, Adas was a slave at that time. He went to the Prophet ﷺ on instruction of his slave master to go and present something to the Prophet ﷺ. It was a bunch of grapes. And the instruction was given was say to him that, please, I request you on the basis of us being relatives, don't, don't discard this. Ikhtilaf is in its own place. But even when he sees the Prophet in that pitiable state, he says, please don't reject this. The Prophet ﷺ on receiving this plate, the pain goes and he starts inviting Adas towards Islam and gives him the call to Tawheed and invites him unto the Haqq. He forgot about all his pain and his focus then became on the person in front. Now, the, again, the story goes on. But I want, I'm just taking that solace from there, that comfort. If he, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is undoubtedly the best of creation, if he had to go through difficulty, then my dear brothers, we have to ask the question, will not Allah test us in exactly the same way? Will Allah not send halat and conditions down upon this ummah? Will we not be faced with trials and difficulties? Perhaps at times we will feel overwhelmed. At times we will feel that it's getting too much. At times we will feel that it's just getting too much to us and we cannot bear anymore. But by the qasam of Allah, Allah knows exactly how much this ummah can bear and accordingly to that Allah will send halat and conditions.